Okay, so good morning. Welcome everyone to Pisa. It is a great pleasure for us to have you here. And uh, uh, we're not really going to say very much. In fact, we're just going to say very little. And um, since it's always difficult to find the first, the first sentence in a situation like this, I'll go with practical things. Right, so the only really practical thing you should know about is that in your registration folder, which is this item here, you will find a swipe card, which hopefully you've already identified in, in a sheet of paper like this. And that's going to give you access to the Mensa, uh, the place where we're going to have lunch for the duration of the workshop. So please put that uh, in your pocket straight away because we will just move uh, at the end of the morning session to the Mensa just from here, downstairs, and it's going to be complicated to come back uh, if, you, if, you, uh, uh, if you left your, your swipe card here. So just please put that into your pocket and please return it to us uh, before you leave. Okay, so that was the breaking item, exactly. item uh, of the thing. So, uh, i just uh, like to say that this workshop just originates by a chance meeting that uh, uh, I had with Massimo Marinacci at the LSC, at the uh, Centre for the Analysis of Time Series, at, a, at a, 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 an uncertainty quantification workshop. And we thought, why don't we just meet uh, with our students and our colleagues and just introduce the research areas that we uh, overlap with at the Scuola Normale and the, at the uh, University of Bocconi. And that's how the thing started. And then we thought, well, maybe we could have a, a couple or, or three or four uh, uh, guest lecturers or keynote talks to get you know, our students very satisfied and, and very learned in, in a very short time. And that's how the workshop uh, started, the idea of the workshop started. So uh, it is very unfortunate that Massimo is in bed at the moment, right, I think, yeah. and he, he, he got a temperature out of season. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, he isn't here at the moment. He'll probably try and be here at some uh, later stage. Uh, we hope so. And I'll just uh, now uh, ask uh, Fabio to say something no. about the Bocconi side of the thing. No, so, okay. the, the thing is that uh, I've seen the thing uh, in a second stage when uh, Mariano Giacquinta dropped by Milan and, and the idea was basically, you know, when you are a kid you say, well, let's see, uh, let, let's try to play the chemist, I will take the vinegar and the washing, um, and the washing liquid of the kitchen, put them together and see what happens, right? So that, that's my idea, and Massimo's idea of what's going on here. So in a sense, I would say that the things that are happening at Bocconi and at Scuola Normale are possibly among the most vivid in Italy from the viewpoint of love for thought and knowledge. Let's put them together and see what happens. I mean, most of the time, nothing happens. You remember when you put the vinegar and the soap, you have vinegar and soap and bubbles of soap in the vinegar. So, I don't know. But uh, let's try. Okay. Uh, 